Hey everybody, Silver here with another Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Look Out for the Little Guys, which is complete two betrayals on heroic or harder without killing a single grunt. So we're basically uh, going to avoid doing that, which is what you got to do for the achievement. A lot of the uh, grunts you'll have to face are in the beginning of the level, so once you're uh, clear of the first part, you're not home free, but it's, uh, it gets a lot easier. Uh, there's a ton of grunts right here in the beginning, so what you want to do is let the sentinels take them out. And what you want to do is also take out this elite right here, so I noob combo them. Uh, overcharge plas plasma pistol them with the uh, plasma pistol, and then uh, take them out with the shotgun. And that thins out their ranks significantly, uh, that way there's not an elite shooting at the sentinels as well. And the sentinels can focus on killing the grunts for you. So they're all cleared out. And now we could go ahead down the hallway. The uh, the plasma pistol in this game really homes in on uh, its targets, even when it's not uh, lit up red as locked on. It still locks on, which is ridiculous. Uh, I also put on the bandana skull, which isn't necessary for this, but I mean... Why not? It makes it a lot easier. You don't got to worry about running out of ammo for any of your weapons, so any of unlimited grenades. I advise limiting grenades uh, when you, you, there's grunts around, because obviously you could accidentally kill a grunt. That one I just threw was strategically placed. You can see I threw it to the left of the jackal there, because uh, there were some grunts to the right of them I didn't want to kill. So head up here. You don't have to, but there's a pistol if you want to change out for a pistol and there's also a sniper rifle and uh, again we have unlimited ammo right now because we have the bandana skull on so uh, we have unlimited sniper rounds which is very nice and uh, I was torn between choosing the pistol or the sniper um, but I ended up choosing the sniper though I love that pistol so you want to head this way and just take out the elite right there and then there's a uh, jackal down here, and there's some uh, random grunts, but don't kill them. Later on in the level, I almost kill a grunt, <coughs> just out of a uh, habit. So you want to slide down the pyramid like I did. Uh, we're gonna, and there's two elites down here where I'm shooting now. So you want to take uh, at least one of them out before you slide down there. Uh, you could slide down with two if you're feeling cocky, but uh, it's good to take out one before you get down there. Also be advised the grunts and other enemies you left alive up there on top of the pyramid may be at the edge and shooting down at you. So watch out for that. Then slide down into this tree. And then run straight at that wraith. Kind of line up the tree and the wraith and run straight at it. And then go to the right. And wrap around back. Of the wraith. It'll rotate to face you, but just use the uh, wraith for cover and just shotgun it. And it actually blows up pretty quickly. Don't stand right on top of the wraith. Uh, give yourself a few feet uh, just because the explosion might harm you if you're too close to it when it blows up. And also, uh, it could splatter you very easily because this is Halo 1, and if it so much as touches you, you're done. So again, don't kill the grunts, even though they're making me nervous being right in front of me and everything. Another uh, thing to note is the fact that if you kill an elite that's hanging out with grunts, the grunts will most of the time uh, run away uh, for a few seconds and not shoot at you. So you got to use that to your advantage. So uh, do that. Step into that beam to lower your shield and disrupt the beam and then just run straight back out and you'll avoid all those sentinels coming in and so this part you usually bomb the door here because there's a bunch of enemies that come out but this time uh, we can't do that because we'll kill a grunt most likely so I took a smash over the head by that elite and uh, but then I shot him with a shotgun, so we're good. This grunt I uh, let pass by, 
and he's going to keep walking to the right, and that way I could slip over to the left, and he won't even know. I ducked under here uh, in case they saw me through the glass, which sometimes they do see through the glass, which is weird because they can't see through their uh, energy barriers, but they could sometimes see through glass. Be advised, you have a shotgun, so there is a spreading effect, obviously. So even though you're shooting at an elite, you might accidentally hit a grunt right behind them or to either side of them, so just be aware of that. Also, when you're sniping someone, like you just saw me snipe that elite, make sure that uh, you're going for headshots because grunts are not tall enough to get hit by those rounds. If you go for a body shot, you might accidentally kill a grunt in the process. Uh, so when you uh, run over here and into this room, be advised there's two grunt or two jackals rather. So you just want to throw two quick grenades. Uh, there's gonna be an elite coming out from the uh, over there. You can see him. So just be ready with your sniper and you kill that jackal. There's another elite to the right, but he doesn't seem to have noticed me, which is nice. But be aware that he's right there in case uh, he does notice you when you run through. And so at this point, we just want to stand here because there's Flood and Covenant fighting each other. So we want to have the Flood take out as many Covenant as possible before we jump into the mix. Hopefully they'll kill as many uh, Grunts as possible so you don't have to worry about killing them or not having to kill them, rather. So you can tell when the fighting's uh, over by the, just the sounds, obviously. There would be no more sounds of fighting. Usually, uh, the flood win uh, most fights, but in that little section, it's usually those elites that come out on top. So over here is just elites and jackals mostly, but then on the other side of the room, there's grunts. So, but still don't uh, throw grenades because there might be a rogue grunt that comes over here for some reason. Though they usually do not in this room. Through the glass. And I thought uh, for a little bit that there was going to be f more flood that come out of that door. But I was sadly mistaken. I think it ha has happened before. I think it's supposed to happen. I don't know why. That it didn't happen. I don't know why. Oh, maybe it's because it's heroic. Hmm. I don't know. So I just led them away. All right. There are some jackals on this bridge and some elites. And uh, there's flood forms uh, on the other side, on the other bridge, so watch out for them shooting at you. And when you get about halfway down the bridge, a little more than halfway, I think, uh, they start jumping at you from across the bridge, so be aware that they're going to board your bridge pirate style. Look at that, man. All direct hits and the shotgun does have a pretty big range even though uh, it doesn't look like it again if it's not if the reticle is not lit up red um, it still delivers some damage if it's like on the border of within range this is definitely the best shotgun in any Halo game ever. Also, uh, you should know that snipers do not really affect Flood at all. They just go straight through the Flood and don't really ever kill them. It's not even worth uh, trying to shoot them with it. It's a better idea to melee them, and meleeing Flood is also a really bad idea. I 
So this room, you can uh, chuck as many grenades as you want. It's just 100% flood. Grenade for you. A grenade for you. And that looks like that's most of them. Actually, there's more. Yeah, there's more right here. And uh, this hallway you're about to go into, there's two elites that uh, spawn right here. So, yeah, they're right there. Bam. There's one. So just be aware that, that there's elites and other enemies in here. So you don't just run past everybody and think you're home free. You'll be met with more people. Uh, also, there's a rocket flood. There he is. He just shot a rocket at us. That spawns at the end of the hallway. That was a... Uh, usually he takes a little bit more time to spawn. That was kind of odd. But... You always want to be on the lookout for him when you know he's going to be there at some point, so... Right. Yeah, I thought we were in a different room here. This is not the way to go. I done gone the wrong way. I usually wrap around to the left. I thought we were in the next room. But in any case... We are on to the next. Another bridge. It's the bridge you were just on is the one we're looking at. And there's some banshees on this. Well, it's the same bridge. Same area. But, uh... There's banshees that are here this time, which is annoying. Luckily, I found a handy-dandy pistol that one of the Flood kindly dropped for me. Uh, the pistol is really good at taking out banshees. The sniper, not so much, so I just exchanged it for a second while I take out the banshee. And the shotgun's uh, pretty good at it as well if it's close in. Alright, time to move down the bridge. There's a, a bunch of rocket flood. See, I'm just... Yeah, you can see that does nothing. I just wanted to show you that. So, don't use the sniper against the flood. Uh, there's a bunch of rocket flood in this uh, section right here I'm throwing grenades at. That's why I'm throwing grenades. So I don't have to go head-to-head -head with a rocket guy. So that cleared them all out, it looked like. And now there's just a bunch of infection forms. Which you could really just run past them, but... I was feeling like I should kill them for some reason. Alright, enough, enough silver, just go. And if you do die during this, that's totally fine. It's not like it's a no-death thing. Just keep reverting back to checkpoint. This is the room I thought I was in. So for this, you just want to go straight into the middle here, and then go to the far right corner here. And there's going to be a couple combat forms in a carrier form. So just get just kill those guys real quick and you kinda skip that whole room. Only have them to take on a couple people. I hit the button twice. That's gonna get us nowhere. So up ahead here is gonna be the section where I almost just instinctively shot a grunt. Which I guess wouldn't be the worst uh, thing in the world, because I could just... Oh, not right here, actually. we got to go through a room first. 
So right up ahead here, there's going to be two combat forms that jump down in front of you. Which you can see, uh, one of the corpses just fell in front of me. I just blew both of them up before they could even uh, jump down with that grenade. But yeah, right, we're going to go outside into the snowy fields again. You can see I just threw that grenade uh, against that pylon type thing, which bounced it straight back at the people following me. A good tactic. Uh, so right here is where I almost shoot a grunt instinctively. To the left right here. I almost went after him. I was really tempted. Usually that uh, plasma grenade is not there. Uh, but right here, you, at this point, you just get in the ghost. You flip it over, get in the ghost, and uh, just speed by everybody. And uh, usually you don't get flipped out of it, but sometimes you do, but that's okay. And you could actually go through these this little gate type thing. It doesn't look like uh, the ghost or this area is designed to allow the ghost through, but it goes through no problem. So Hop out right here if you need health. Or if you don't have bandana on for some reason, there's a bunch of ammo as well there. Uh, be aware that there's grunts above you there. You can see uh, that one threw a plasma grenade at me and almost stuck me. Kind of got to play a game of trying not to splatter the grunt. And so you speed over here and get in a banshee without even having to kill anybody. I accidentally got in the ghost again a second time, which almost killed me, but I lucked out. Not my finest hour. But all in all, the banshee's pretty healthy, so and I didn't lose any health, so sounds good to me. So you want to make sure you don't park the Banshee on the left of the door, but you can park it anywhere else. And I decided to take out the Jackal here and the Elite before uh, I came back, because you have to come back here anyway, so might as well make sure that they're all dead. There is a Fuel Rod grunt over there still, but we can't do anything about them. And in here is just all Flood. And some Elites, or not Elites, and Sentinels. So just chuck a bunch of grenades. Kill that sentinel. There we go. Alright. Walk into the light. Beam me up, Scotty. There's going to be a ton of flood that come at you. This is the toughest room where your shields get taken down by the beam you step into. By far. But it's totally manageable if you, uh, you just run back to the door you're supposed to leave through. The one you came into the room with. And just throw a couple grenades because there's a ton of people that come out there. And uh, then you just kind of back up around the edge of the room and throw grenades and shoot them with a shotgun. So right here, uh, this grunt somehow shot at me at point-blank range. It did not kill me, which is very weird. He's a really shitty shot. So you get in the Banshee and you just dive down and into this tunnel. And you want to make sure you're not scraping against the ceiling because I said this in my other Two Betrayals video. It uh, lowers your mobility. You want to uh, stay as mobile as possible. And you also want to have a greater speed because if you're scraping against the ceiling, obviously you're not going as fast as you can. So the uh, flood down there that were wielding rockets, you could see they were shooting at us. Uh, they're way more likely to shoot and kill you if you're dragging your the top of your banshee across the ceiling because you're going slower and also you're uh, closer to the ceiling so if they miss you uh, but hit the ceiling uh, their splash damage could still take you out so at this point there's a few flood on the other side of the wall um, so I'm just banshee bombing it a few times to thin them out 
All right, so not that nade. That nade gave me the inspiration to try this. This nade, I'm trying to do something spectacular. And it looks good to me. Boom. Fuck y'all. So you want to be uh, on your toes at this point because there's rocket wielding flood on the other side of the bridge here that are spawning. So you want to make, uh, that's the last one I think I just killed right there. You can see the rockets on the ground. But you definitely want to be alert because the rockets cause could end your day pretty quickly. Doing well in this mission is all about just knowing where the rocket flood are. So now we're out, we're traversing through this area, which is meant for a vehicle, but we're doing it on foot. Last time we were here was back on the level assault on the control room, and we had a tank, probably. I mean, I have a tank when I'm in this area, at least. You don't need one, though. Final run. So for this uh, section up here, I just let the flood totally destroy the Covenant, and that way we don't have to worry about A, the Covenant in general, and B, uh, killing any grunts more specifically. I considered shooting some uh, elites there, but the flood usually demolish them, so might as well have the elites take out some of the flood for me as well. So I just hang right here for a little bit. There's not very many accommodations here. But. I call it home. So to go through here you got to crouch walk. To get under that tree. Through that little crevasse area. So yeah you can see the, uh, the flood are numerous over there. The one annoying thing is the Banshee, which sometimes sees you and sometimes doesn't. And now it sees me. Like I said, the sniper isn't very good with the uh, taking out the Banshee, but the shotgun is. So now the Flood uh, have taken care of all the Covenant over there, so they're coming after me now. I like to use frags uh, most of the time, especially against the Flood, uh, because, oh, look at the Flood forms. They're hopping in and out of the snow uh, because the frag grenades go off more quickly. They're not as powerful as plasma grenades, but they are more quick to go off. So You could grab one of these ghosts. And speed on over to the Banshee you need to hop into. We're going to speed by uh, this section. Which you should be aware there's rocket flood that I'm driving right at pretty much right now. One shot of rocket at me right there you can see. So just be aware. Uh, there's four on legendary. But I'm not sure how many there are on heroic. There's at least one that we know of. Just from that one experience. If you want to get above this lip, you have to go at it uh, at that left corner. You can see I just got up. And then wrap around to the right. Hug the wall. And go behind the rocks that are behind the banshees here. And then you can just wait a few seconds. Uh, so the wraiths and all the other covenant become distracted again by the flood. And then just hop on out after a little bit, and no one is even shooting at you. Well, I lied. There's one guy shooting at you, but you're totally fine. Quit being a whiner. No one likes a drama queen. So now at this point, you just got to fly straight to the uh, little dock you got to dock on. I mean, what are, th are those actually meant for... I guess they're meant for air vehicle, uh, air vehicles, right? Is that their main purpose? 
It seems kind of weird to have lying around. Did the Forerunner have uh, Banshee-like vehicles there flying around this canyon? I don't know. Uh, but for this uh, last py pylon, I guess it is a pylon, you uh, walk into it, and you can still get shot for a couple seconds after. Uh, so you want to hide. Um, but that's it. We just won. Thanks for watching, guys. Click like and subscribe if you thought this was helpful. Uh, please click like and subscribe even if you didn't think it was helpful. I'd appreciate it. And uh, keep checking back. we got a lot more coming out. Thanks for watching, guys.